Hello and welcome to the Lads Talk podcast. The podcast that you should still be watching even after this intro because you are definitely not a racist. Uh if you are not a racist, leave a like and leave a comment and type I am not a racist right now. That would help okay. very much. So today's topic has stemmed from um recent things that's been happening in the news and things that have caught my eye and uh to be honest I've experienced in person as well um by the way I'm Sadiq if you didn't know and this is Garis we are currently on 805 subscribers I think it, it might, might be, be more, could knows? could be more it could be less um but racism yes there's a lot of it currently in the news uh the news itself the journalists that we see nowadays the media they are showing very racist tendencies um and obviously it's not just oh brown boy crying wow wow it's not that kind of situation genuinely i've mm. been seeing like noticing a pattern everything that comes up on youtube or whatever um is literally like some kind of racist kind of topic but anyway um <clears throat> and i say racist and i'm like just like how they generalize the term obviously there's islamophobia in there there's all sorts of stuff there but I'm coining it as racism because that's underlying the underlying issue of it is actually racism and we'll go into it and we'll explain how um it's important for us those on the receiving end to understand what to do and how to go about it what to recognize as well uh but just as equally I think it's important for those watching and who may not realize that you know maybe they unconsciously are doing things that are biased towards a certain group of people it's just to realize the difference is a bit and just calm everyone down because it's it's just a bit too heated at the moment in in the public and uh, i think we just need to calm down yeah but just a couple of examples yeah of things that we see where's my remote uh, there's a couple of examples of things that we see currently in the news or like just currently that we hear like all the time i uh, just want to watch it and just just give a good idea before we go into anything yeah so this first clip is about um a guy he's approached a muslim person mm-hmm. and he's a notable like youtuber muslim youtuber smile to janna and he um he's asking him about muslims yeah and he's saying so there's two clips i'm going to play from him so one the first one he's asking about muslims and he's saying what well, his his views and opinions on muslims no he's he's asking what have muslims ever done for like culture you lots of back he's implying that you lots of backwards you've never done anything yeah so okay here's what is your religion given the world apart from the islamic state and the islamic state boy the scientific method was developed by somebody called ibn al-haytham who was a muslim al-khawarizmi he gave us algebra you probably heard of as well jabir ibn hayyan gave us crystallization distillation you know chemical processes and stuff like that in fact even the dollar of america it's only weighted because saudi sells it oil in dollars it owes its economy significantly to the saudis what does he mean by you guys have islamic state i don't understand so you know he he the the man who approached him he said what have you what has islam actually given the world except for islamic state islamic state was you know you remember isis mm. so isis is I, i don't know what isis actually stands for but it's islamic state i think of iraq and syria i think mm. that's what it was yeah but IS that's what they shortened it to is Islamic state yeah so aka what has your religion given us except for terrorism and war and blood and wow. stuff yeah so he put him in his place straight away and he said look we've given algebra one of the biggest like mathematical things that we tools that we use we've given um he missed out some like you know the clock the mm. the the clock discovering lemons coffee beans this is all islamic uh muslim people who discovered these things the first earliest flying machine it was in a machine it was like more like a gliding device mm-hmm. but it that's what the people who developed the plane and stuff they modeled it after that was islamic as well it was de- de- developed by muslims so these things like they sh- they shunned in the world and it's so crazy because in the comment section there was this one guy arguing with me once in the comments and he said um it was on one of our shorts and he said Oh, what has Muslims? You lot are backwards. You lot are the dark ages, and so I said, no, Islam. Gave what does he mean by backwards and dark age? Backwards, you lot don't think about the advancement of human mm. society. You don't think about technology. You lot are just backwards. You stay stay in your caves and you do mm. that. But then I replied to him. I said, what, no. what were the second? Was it dark what? Dark ages. Dark, dark ages is a uh, basically the, there was a moment where the Christians took over the world. I think, and they 
I think for religious purposes they didn't want to advance science and all that stuff so they just kept everyone doing traditional things and uh, that was called the dark ages because nothing advanced for a very long time we lost out a lot of technology and advancements but, but then on the other hand you have the muslim uh, conquest or like Isl- islamic contributions to science and things like that medical surgery and thing uh, equipment and that was the that was the golden age that was when technology was advancing very quickly but the thing is in school and stuff we don't uh, talk about it anymore. Even if you go to, I think it's the um, British History Museum or Natural History Museum, I can't remember one of them, in in uh, London. You go to them, you will find a whole display and it talks about Muslim artefacts, Muslim contributions to you know, algebra, what we mentioned. So it's just not talked about. But what, what do we see in the media nowadays? We see it's always about... It's, it's a negative <clears throat> picture that they paint. What's the first thing? If I say the word Muslim to you, what do you think about? You're trying not to get cancelled, yeah? If someone says Muslim to me, mm. yeah, we done this. I done this um, in university. We had a communication and cultures class. It was called, yeah, and it was about like, there was this class about stereotypes and prejudice. So there's uh, the teacher said, okay, I'm gonna say a random word, and you're gonna say the first word that pops into your head. So the first word they said, homeless person. Someone said smelly, yeah, because homeless person smelly naturally. That's the first thing that came to your head, and then someone said. A uh, black person and some this person put the hand up. Do you know what they said? Thief, yeah. And then someone said Muslim. Someone put the hand up. Terrorist. So each and every single one of those, the straight the people the answer that they got this 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 they, they didn't they didn't think about it by the way it was instant and no one would they the teacher said don't be shy don't think we're all just learning we're just seeing yeah, and I was like wow like unfiltered they just a like, terrorist thief and stuff like that so. Meaning it's been drilled that does that doesn't just happen overnight. That doesn't just become you have to be fed that information. And honestly, you see in the media, yeah, you watch the media, you watch the news, what do you see? Every time a Muslim is mentioned, it has to be some sort of crime, it has to be some sort of um extremism or some someone died, someone got murdered, there was a drug thing, but it's always Muslim, Muslim. It's never Asian, it's not Bengali guy, Pakistani guy, Sri Lankan guy, Indian guy, African guy, whatever, you know, Nigerian guy, whatever. It's always Muslim, 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 Muslim. Do you, have you ever seen a news article where there's extremism, a Christian attacker? Mm-hmm. No. You look at New Zealand, yeah? New Zealand uh Christchurch is called there was a mosque there. This guy, Call of Duty style, he put a helmet on and he had a camera attached. And he went into a mosque with an AK or some sort of machine gun. He gunned everyone down and live. it was live streamed on Facebook. Oh, that I yeah? remember. Yeah. And they didn't call him uh, the Christian terrorist, Christian extremist. Because he'd done it in the name of Christianity. Mm. Never said it. New Zealand. And they, the angel turned. And they, they, this is the article. The angel turned into a murderer. What's that? And then after the Muslim one, it's never angel. It's like, yeah, Muslim, the terrorist, he was born a terrorist and he does done his terrorist activity. It's all already the notion, the moment he's brown or he has certain features and characteristics, yeah, he's instantly his terrorist. It's not just me. It's not me saying this, yeah. Two years uh, two years ago, they done a, an investigation into media bias against Muslims, yeah. And they were looking at, or, you know, is it is it true or whatever? They analysed, I think, 55,000 articles. Mm. 4,700 TV clips, like news mm. uh, news videos, yeah, uh, in, in the UK. And they found that like 60% of them spoke about Islam and Muslims in, uh, and related them to terrorism or some negative. It was never nice stuff, yeah. And um, th- this just like, they done an investigation. I think nine of them actually sued the TV stations and stuff. Oh. And the, they won the case, yeah. They said, you spoke like this about us. It wasn't even true. And they sued the TV station and stuff and they won the thing in, in Britain. They actually got paid out. Like, I don't know if it was millions or something. They got proper paid. But um, but it just shows like they already have that negative mindset, since, especially since like 9-11 and stuff. They've carried this on. Mm. Um, so now, okay, I co- talk about Muslims and Islam and stuff. But why do I mention that when we're talking about racism? That shouldn't be linked. That's a religion. So the reason I say that is I personally feel it's not actually anything to do with... Uh, it is to do with religion, of course. I don't think people actually have the problem with the religion as much as mm. they think. Because if you truly have a problem with the faith, a religion, you wouldn't rely on what you see on the news. So you watch a TV and then you just decide. You would look at the news and you'd be like, wait, is that actually true? Search it up on your phone, read it, do some research on your own. And then you'd be like, okay, you know what, I'll trust it. Because the news lies about so much. People couldn't, for, I'll just give you an example. People couldn't trust when they said, go get the COVID vaccine. So if you can't 
if you can't trust about a medical mm-hmm. thing that people need for COVID and stuff like that, then how can you? You can't trust such a small thing that like you can see people getting ill and that you probably yeah. need the vaccine, and you can see that live in front of you. But with something like that, Asians and stuff, and or you know African people, black people, you don't think twice. You just instantly believe it. This is the problem, yeah. And that's why I think it's not so much to do with religion. Is it what you say? It's like a stereotyping. Stereotyping. It's stereotyping and looking at people's appearance rather than thing. So I'll give you an example. Yeah, recently they killed uh, this man. He's 36, 37 years old. At the end of school time, he got a sword. And he was going around attacking people. He sent, I think, four people or five people to the hospital, including police. Where, where was this? Uh, North London, Hainault. Hainault. In, in North London, yeah. And he went up stabbing people and he actually killed a schoolboy who's 14 years old schoolboy. Yeah. Now, the first thing, because it was like coming out live and stuff here. Yeah? The police said, we've apprehended the criminal. We've what got him. Mean? We've got him. Yeah. We've like detained him, arrested mm-hmm. him. Please don't assume anything. Yeah, don't assume anything until we have all the facts. AKA, don't call this terrorism. Don't call this a murder. Don't call this a drug. Don't like assume what the crime yeah. is because oh, in this is mainly to the news articles and the um, <clears throat> yeah, what's it? TV stations. TV stations and also the general yeah. social media, you know, public. Why did they say that? Because you know the guy. Yeah. He had a beard. He's a white guy, by the way, but he had a thick beard. Yeah, but like around yours or like maybe slightly bigger than yours. Yeah, and he looked. If you look at him and you look at his beard, maybe someone would think maybe he's a Muslim. Yeah, like people would think you're Muslim. Yeah, they, they, yeah, I get they, that a lot, they yeah. look they look at you and they think that you're a Muslim. So maybe they would have thought he's Muslim. So you know the racist TV channels and stuff like you know GB News. This yeah. new, they, I don't know where they've come out from on this talk TV. Instantly they went on TikTok, they went on YouTube and on all this stuff, and they started live streaming and going, "Oh, the police are telling us that." Um, that not to judge, but we already know. We can already tell that this is just one. And instantly, they were saying that this is terrorism. Yeah. So this is the best part of such a horrible, like nasty situation. Yeah. They're saying we already know. So why are they telling us? Oh, DC, the police, they're under Sadiq Khan. Yeah, the Muslim mayor of London. So they just you know trying to protect Muslims. But we already know the truth. Comes out hours later, he's not Muslim. He's a Christian, and on top of that, he's not even Asian. He's white, British. but British white. But because of his appearance, that he had the beard, and the police also said, "Don't assume." Instantly, they related it to terrorism. That a guy with a beard, a thick beard, a big beard, doing something horrible like killing lots of people in one go, that has to be a Muslim. Yeah, uh, it has to be an immigrant, or it has to be a Muslim. Yeah, remember these two words. Mm. And then it found out after they found out the Metro, which is a newspaper. I'm going to I'm going to put the thing on the screen right now yeah the metro published this article yeah so the article says uh it's along the lines because I don't have it in front of me but the article it literally says the mystic swordsman um goes on a rampage something like that mystic mystic swordman yeah mystic. mystic like I don't know like mysterious kind oh, of mysterious. thing I guess I mean, a mystic swordman make him sound like a magician now what kind of image do you think they put of this guy what do, what do you think he looked like <laughs> <laughs> Mystic sword one Yeah What kind As in Like, like a hero Like a hero yeah So I di- You haven't seen it by the way I've not shown you yeah. You haven't seen it This guy And it's also like Positive words are used oh, Mystic Is it like You would Fascinating Yeah you said so Yeah exactly You would associate that word More with positive Or like neutral yeah. Than ne- negative Yeah exactly It's either positive or neutral You think This guy mysterious I want to know about him Wow that's cool You know they First of all The title in big block writing Is Mystic Sword Man Second of all uh, it doesn't even cover in big writing It covers in small writing The fact that he killed a 14 year old kid Who's coming home from school Thirdly um, The picture that they use When they use a picture of a Asian or a Muslim person They use a mugshot from their driver's mm-hmm. license Or their picture from prison Do you know what picture they use? What? He's wearing a gold medal for an archery competition And he's literally pulling the archery thing And he's like it shows him well, That's the first time it, well, I haven't seen it That's the first time I'm hearing about it It shows him Participating in an archery competition and it's him like winning, and they even so, mentioned it in the article that he's a some sort of gold medal winner. Oh, what's that? What's that got to do with this? Do you understand? He's a murderer. Yeah, exactly. But what do you find? Remember at the start we said angel boy turns yeah. into murderer, murderer. Yeah, not terrorist because he done in the name of a political yeah. view. That's terrorism. And this one, same thing. He's a mystic swordman and he he's an archery competition winner and he just went on a rampage. You know, he's just a normal guy. Mm. 
But for some reason, an Asian brown guy or black guy, when he does a crime, it can't be seen as, you know, he mentally went, went off the rails. He's actually an angel kid. He was actually a good boy. It always is. This guy's horrible. This is his nature. Why? Because they actually, those type of people, they actually, first of all, they know what sells. Mm. They know what's going to get more views. That's one. And the second thing is, they, in their mind and in their heart, they've already decided that anyone who's brown and black, they don't have culture, they don't have class, they don't have humanity or... They don't look at what's fair. And if it makes sense, like, um, for example, let's say a brown person actually murders someone, that's fair enough, isn't it? You can you can pay, pay, paint that picture, but you don't use the word terrorism or religion and stuff. Yeah, with, It's got nothing to do with terrorism. And, and then on top of that, like... You know, they say this is a growing. They mention in articles. You'll see research anything. They say stuff like, "This is a growing issue in the UK," but it's not. It's not a growing issue when it's a white person yeah. who kills. And I'm not saying like discriminate against a uh, thingy. I'm saying say e equal things yeah. for everyone, isn't it? Because it is equal. Um, but they won't do that. And I'll give you an example. I'm gonna g give that same. You know the same guy smiled to Jannah. Yeah? yeah, he was talking to the same guy, and uh, this is what the guy said. And it, obviously, this was the response. Yeah, because uh, I just want you to have a watch of this. Okay, so you get our understanding. And this is. I'm not just picking out thinner. This is exactly how um, they treat all Muslims with these kind of questions. Yeah, have a look at this. How comes in um, these Norman town with these white girls and being them raped? That gives them this habit of curiosity, of bad image. Yes, so what was done with that was these grooming gangs were predominantly Pakistani. Yeah, they were. Yeah? Now, the faith was not mentioned by the police, it was not mentioned by the government. In fact, the Home Office looked at the amount that was done. They're saying majority of the grooming gangs are actually white. White people do it as individuals. It's, no, they're doing gangs. I'm telling you, news headlines. Students. Google it when you go home. Type in white grooming gang. You'll see the articles that come up they will overwhelm you point that i'm trying to say is grooming as a holistically is wrong knock it on the head anyone who does it they need the full punishment of the law and i'll stand with you on that <laughs> wait, to, wait to get it straight so that i saw what i saw he it was a white group of men gang yeah. but he thought it was no so so what what he's saying yeah the guy first of all yeah i found the whole clip you watch to the end it's funny yeah the guy comes, he goes, what do you think about, you know, um, the white girls? First of all, he's already generalized. Yeah. It's white girls only going through that one. And it's done by Muslim grooming gangs, yeah? So then the guy who's replying... What is about grooming gangs? Grooming gangs is literally they lure girls in, oh. into that and then they do bad things to them. So the Muslim guy, Ismail Tijanna, yeah? First of all, it's important to know he's Pakistani himself. So he's not being biased or something. He said, this is majority being done by... People from the Pakistani community yeah. No, and on top of that is more uh, funny because the media, home office, the police No one released information that they were Muslim Because Pakistanis aren't always Muslim as well mm. by the way You have to understand Pakistanis can be Christian as well I don't know if they are Hindus But I do know that there's Pakistani Christians Christian Pakistanis and there's Muslim Pakistanis So it could be either of them And then he said that majority of these grooming gangs that you're talking about they're not even Asian or they're not Pakistani or whatever. They're white and there's articles published. Did you see the yeah. article that he showed? Yeah, these are they're mostly white, but people don't talk about that. When they say grooming gang, everyone thinks Asian people, brown people, black people, and they leave out the fact that white people mainly do those yeah. kind of things. Um, but this is the this, this is the problem. Like we're literally seeing this all over the place. Now we've covered all the politics side. Now yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm glad we got that out of the way. But now, why do we care? What what's the point of caring? Yeah. I care first of all because I see people getting affected by it but at the same time I care for a selfish reason which is it affects me mm. and it has affected me both physically mentally I guess like, I don't really you know I'm not distraught and losing my life over it but physically it's affecting me because I've been attacked before and mentally like you know when people look at you they give you that look when I go into pub in public now pe I'm not wearing like Islamic clothing mm. but normal clothing but people look at me they give you a look and they'll be like Oh, what's it? Oh, what's he gonna do? What's this? They look as if I'm carrying a bag. Whoa, what's in there? You know, they don't care that it's sprinkle cake that's inside the bag. Yeah. Oh, we can give an example. Oh no, no, actually, never mind. Leave it. What? Carry on. What I was gonna say the woman lady yesterday, but she was mentally. You said she's suffering over in a little. No, that's a good example actually because uh, we went Aldi yesterday. Aldi, yeah. Aldi, we went yeah. Aldi yesterday, and um, the woman, everyone else, she's like normal to them. Yeah. yeah. Normal, and what happened is she comes to our 
ca- yeah. uh, thingy. She's yeah. just walking around normal. Yeah. She's not like on the self uh, check on the self check out area. She's walking around normal. Everything's fine. She only comes to us to check in the bag to make sure we're t- we've got the exact no, items. So we're not so stealing. So, so, uh, so what what happened is Sadiq was about to pay. And then I see her coming in between, like we're literally in the middle. She, he comes in between us, but behind, yeah. and she's peering over as yeah. if like, what what I got from her is like, are we stealing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's the vibe I got from her. Like she looked over at the card machine if we're gonna pay at the stuff, and I was like, why do that? Like that's so strange because I, because at that moment I didn't see her to do it anywhere else. It was only to us. Yeah. And and the thing she was probably thinking is the stereotype built. We're both brown. Yeah. Uh, I've actually I've actually been with um, some people to a jewelry shop, yeah? yeah, and we were looking at like rings, men's size, women's size, everything. We were looking at it, yeah, and we were just trying on rings and stuff. And I remember the person serving us was like a new guy, a rookie, yeah, mm. and he was just regular, like um, helping us. And he took two rings out because one I wanted to try on two different rings um, because they're two different styles. And his manager, like someone who works with him, you only al- comes over like uh, uninvited. Yeah, you're only allowed to take out one um, per customer and stuff like that. And then the guy's like, "Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, that's that's fine." And then what he, what he does, he puts away the that thing. There's other customers. They're literally glaring at us across the store, like Who's? like that. The other manager, the one that yeah. says the one that was reminding the guy, glaring at us like we're gonna steal, we're gonna break into it and just steal it or something. Like like we got nothing better to do. And I have to say, we weren't dressed homeless. It wasn't like we were dressed like all raggedy or like it track suited up so that it looks kind of like, oh, they're thug life or like the road man or something. We're normal dressed. Like, if you look at it, like classy, because it's was like, it wasn't informal like that mm-hmm. much. It was like shirts and trousers and stuff. So I don't know what the problem was. And then I realized, oh, it's because we're brown. So automatically we're thieves. Do you get it? But that's when it starts affecting. And like, I swear you have problems when you go like... um when you park your car in your oh, own yeah, house so in my neighborhood yeah so um it's like a hill and i park facing downwards so in my where i live there's loads of um white people and in my specific road there's loads of white people i mean old white people sorry and so i parked up and she's giving me this dirty look yeah and i'm there like what's wrong with her and she comes and then she comes out of her house she's already staring out her window yeah and i'm there like what does she want? She comes down. She's like, you can't park like that. You need to park upwards. You're not allowed. I'll park there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone has parked. It doesn't matter if you're parked facing downwards or up the hill. It is parked like where you can legally park. And I was there like, I've never like, I don't, obviously I didn't see a lot, but I don't see her going up to other people. Why is it only me? And there's another time I parked that exact same one on the other side. And this why old man now this the elderly old man he comes and he has an issue that i can't park there and he's like you're blocking and then he was like you're not following the like laws i don't know what he was saying he was making no sense yeah. uh, he was giving the first to look and i was like like i kind of with the old lady i know going back and forth it's happened she looked at me then i let it go then when it happened the second or third time i was like i can't let this slide because they're just going to keep doing it again and again i'll understand that oh but i need to go to them and just like let them know in it that's it so they don't do it again and then literally that's around similar time then like a week or week goes by or a few weeks literally less than two weeks the old man does the same thing and then he gets so like what's it he has a tantrum he's like you can't park there you don't like follow the rules of driving laws of driving and i'm there like huh like he's not even making sense and these guys always see them cutting grass or and whatever but they never chat to anyone else yeah, yeah, yeah. it's only me like what is your issue i'm not blocking your driveway i'm not doing anything i'm parked in a legal in a legal parking space yeah but that's because like I feel and like- then i was like after but all of this instance i'm thinking yeah like why does it happen to me oh look i'm brown mm-hmm. and also like in the past so that happened recently about literally last year and i spoke to um uh i spoke to my family as well and uh, it happened with them exact same neighborhood and i think people as well not both of them one of them the exact same thing happened to my mom like a few years ago again to do with driving a car like it's just i don't know it doesn't make sense like what have i done i'm just minding my own business i finish work i'm parking my car i'm going home that's it like why does it bother you like what i personally think is yeah is because us people who are basically 
not brown <clears throat> or immigrants we've came into this country and we're like they've taken over their jobs we've filled in their space and, and they're not happy with it they're just so yeah. salty about it <laughs> yeah so like that's that, that's how i see it you know from the way they're speaking the stuff they're saying and like it's making no sense you're not following oh you can't drive on that side you're not following the like whoa, like, like what mm-hmm. So you're telling me I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a fine I'm gonna get a fine parking fine just because I'm facing downwards yeah and not upwards. <laughs> it's yeah. so stupid. But it's that that nitpicking yeah. side of it yeah is so obvious. You know what I mean? Yeah, like don't get me wrong. I've came across <clears throat> not, uh, like white elderly old people who are nice, but then I've also came across the other side like this, and these are my personal experiences. Yeah, but uh, you find it like. Um, Recently, someone sent me an article. Yeah, for example, um, Cadbury. Yeah, they were doing for Easter. They were doing uh, this new thing. They didn't want to call it Easter egg anymore. Yeah, do you remember I sent you this article? Oh, yeah, yeah. They didn't want to call it Easter egg anymore because they want to be more inclusive for other religions. No Muslim. I don't even think any Hindu, yeah. no Jew. I don't think any other religion has ever asked for this. And Easter egg is a Easter egg. It's a chocolate, and you just do what you want with it. Yeah. It's got nothing to do. So we don't care like that. Yeah. They send, uh, they change the name of the uh, chocolate Easter egg into celebration egg. I think it was. Was it? it they changed it to oh, celebration God. egg, and everyone lost their head. And it was like Muslims. Look what Muslims are changing everything. Muslims, Muslims did not. Muslims ask, not we did not ask for your Easter egg to be to be changed. And I even asked some people I know. I said, uh, I said, what do you think about this? They said to me, if you didn't tell us that um, this happened, that this happened first of all, and if you didn't tell us that. You know, Muslims don't care like that. Automatically, we would have actually thought because the article says it, we would have actually thought that that's what you guys do. I was like, no, some woke person in this in the Cadbury that, factory. They must have been so bored. They're like, all right, let me just like put this down for them. Like, yeah, I've got no work to do. I think I think it's to do with like just um, what do you call it, publicity? Yeah, because the mm-hmm. owners of Cadbury and stuff, they responded on article and they said, look, we never like we never asked anyone to do this so it was actually just one branch some woke person was just like oh yeah let's just let's just break some barriers no one cares it's called easter egg do your easter egg do you know what i mean i'm not going to change uh eid mubarak decorations to celebration mubarak decoration <laughs> yeah, your own religion is your own religion follow it in in islam we don't by the way like people are like oh you always try to uh, flex your religion on us you're trying to push it on us no we're not i express my religion through myself just like a christian if i go towards a church I'll, and I see a pastor, he's going to be wearing in his his gown whatever he wears. And he'll probably say Christian things. Or he they have a signboard outside some parish churches. They have signboards, isn't it? And they have God loves you yeah. and this stuff. They're not pushing it on to me. That's their religion. They're expressing it. If I pray on the street because I don't... I, I'm running out of time to pray and I can't find anywhere else. I'm just doing my religion for myself. And in the Quran, it literally says two things. One is there's no force in religion. So we're never forcing no one else to do anything. And secondly, uh, it says... Um, for you is your faith and for me is my faith okay to people who don't believe in islam and like our religion we say that to them because that's it it's just fair it's chill but because the media they 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 profit off of hate they profit off this kind of stuff they push their agenda so much but what it's doing is the public are becoming like proper against each other like you can look at the protests yeah you know the israel palestine protests Majority of the uh, protests, you see a humongous crowd with the um, pro-Palestinian side and they just kind of get on with it. They walk and no one is like fighting each other. No one's doing anything. Then you have the Israeli side come in and on purpose, they try to grab headlines that, oh, they attacked me. Mm-hmm. They, they've done this to me. They, no one's interested in doing that to you, mate. OK, if you don't start attacking, obviously self-defense, we would self-defend yeah. ourselves. Although we've got nothing to do with you. And um, stuff like I reported to the police uh, when I got attacked at the train station, this guy attacked at the end of uni. A uni day, uh, I, I was at um, the train station, and this guy, he he's looking in my direction, yeah. <clears throat> and um, it's actually such a like traumatic story, yeah. But he's looking in my direction, like imagine this, yeah. Let's let's let me try and do visual, right. some some visual yeah, 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 visual uh, d- direction here. Yeah? So imagine you're me, and you're yeah. just standing on the train station. So he he does this. He's eating. I uh, uh, kid you not. He's got a container. You know, like doner kebab yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But there's, I think it's just doner kebab. Yeah, first of all, which is in English, by the way, I hope. Just yeah. to clarify, yeah. He's having doner kebab and he's also having onions. There's no lettuce, tomato, there's no chips. It's just doner kebab and onions, bro. And I'm telling you, the guy stank as well. But anyway, so he's he's eating, okay. 
And under his breath, he's saying, you bleep. Like, he's literally <laughs> swearing at me. You effing terrorist. You effing artist. You effing this. You effing P word for uh, yeah. Pakistani shorten. Yeah. You effing this. F, F, F. First reaction I had, yeah. I was like, is this guy talking? <laughs> he's talking to me. So I ignored him. I was like, you know, I don't need to engage with that. Yeah. Then I thought like, oh, you know what? Like, I, feel I should probably move. I can't move. There's no way else I can go. And also, in case he is and he's trying something, because, mm. you know, I've heard stories uh, and I didn't encounter it properly like that before. I thought, let me be safe. And there's cameras here. So I'll stand here. Yeah. Then he started getting louder, louder, louder. And I was like, I'm um, sorry, excuse me. Are you um, are you talking to me? Not, like a nice, yeah. exactly that voice. I said, um, are you talking to me? Because I thought maybe he he would be like, no, 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 I'm like, you know, and he make it normal. Maybe I've misunderstood. Yeah. He goes, no, nah, mate, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, that's right. And then I looked away. He goes, yeah, that's right. You effing this, you effing that. You that's pa- under his breath, isn't it? Yeah, under his breath. All of this is, by the way, under his breath. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's right. Look away, you effing this. And I was I was like, wow, he's actually like, he's talking. So I, th- I go to him, I go, excuse me, you you are talking to me. Why don't you just say it out loud? Let's let's have a conversation, yeah? Because yeah. I thought, yeah, I got annoyed, yeah? So I said, let's have a conversation. So he goes, what's there to have a conversation about? You're an effing this, you're an effing... And so I was like, oh, so he was talking to me then, yeah? He goes, you and your kind, you're all terrorists. Yeah, all of you are artists, yeah? And um, he goes, uh, what's he called? My girlfriend uh, was attacked by you, you P words, yeah? You uh, Pakistani, no, short for Pakistan. People, Every time I say P word, it means short for Pakistanis, yeah? You, you guys can put two and two together. He goes, yo, yo guys, all you Pakistan, uh, all you P words, <laughs> all you P words. At first, I'm not Pakistani. I just hope to clarify that. Yeah. All you P words are doing this. Da, 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 da. And I was like, whoa, whoa, calm down. First of all, I'm not Pakistani. I'm Bengali. <laughs> so you need to calm down. And he goes, no, all of you are the same. You're Muslim. I was like, yeah, I'm Muslim. I go, but I'm not, you know, I didn't attack your girlfriend. What are you angry at me for? I, I just come back from uni. He goes, I came back from uni as well. I was like. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, mate, sure. <laughs> sure. Yes, I, I remember I saw you there, but I was like, you know what? Like, what's going on with this guy? Then he started getting violent in it. Like, he thought he's not getting the rise that he wants out of me, so now he's getting violent. So he comes closer. Yeah, I go, excuse me, like, you know, you, your breast smell the onions, you know, keep, you know, you keep your distance. He goes, oh, I'll do what I want to do. And I was like, oh, no, man. Now, I should clarify the guy, he's not. Like a puny guy or something He's like double Like not double my height But he's way taller than me And double my size yeah. Like now I'm a bit more Meaty Let's just yeah. call it But before I was scrawny Like proper twig style Yeah And I thought Yeah I'm gonna die today Basically yeah Phone is on 13% charge It's iPhone So it's unreliable Android all the way Um, <clears throat> And uh, what's it called He just keeps approaching He just keeps coming, coming I'm like Oh man what am I going to do? So he says, he starts going, oh, he keeps it, keeps going, you're effing this, you've done this to my girlfriend. I was like, bro, I don't know your girlfriend. I don't know what's happened to you, uh, but all of us aren't like however you think. We're not like that, yeah? And by the way, he's got like a uh, football scarf on. So I'm thinking <laughs> football hooligan. He's bold, yeah? White oh guy, eating God. doner kebab and onions, bro. Like, he fits the perfect description of what you'd expect, yeah? yeah? I'm like, man, how am I going to get out of this? Then he starts coming closer and I was like, I was like, sir, I've I've told you already, you need to like back off because I don't like how close you're coming here. Yeah? He tries to grab my arm and I move my arm where I was like, I said, then I thought, I'm gonna get killed, yeah? So I need to now toughen up and I need to say something, even if I die. So so he's coming and I'm moving my hand. And remember, the whole time I'm I'm on camera, yeah. it? So I stayed there on purpose for camera. So I thought like let me you know calm try and calm the situation that's so all my body language is very passive but before you carry on you know before he come got close did you go to the people who worked on no they're not they, 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 there was no one there it was actually just like normal public people and they were like scat- scattered around everyone can see and hear because mm-hmm. it's loud yeah they're scattered around but no one's coming to help no one's well, like I, saying I so know. so it's just like that so yeah. I, I'm, I'm doing so like you're yeah. calm down like, all this time yeah. I've been doing this yeah. yeah then I thought I'm on camera the guy's trying to attack me. I'm moving. I'm like annoyed, but I'm trying to still be like a bit smart. So I go like this: "You, yeah, I'll smash your face yeah. and I'll smash your nose into the vehicle." <laughs> the camera will pick that up. The camera is not yeah. gonna pick that up, but, but they can see the actions that you. Yeah, doing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, let me protect myself both legally <laughs> and also physically. Yeah. So I'm trying to calm him down. He's not listening. He's trying to attack me. I thought, you know what? This guy needs to be put in his place. But let me not criminalize myself. Yeah. So I said, listen, I'm going to smash your nose in the paper. If you touch me, I'm going to smash your nose in the I'll smash your face in the paper. And obviously, he's not, he's not going to give up that easy. Yeah? 
So then he tries it again. And I go like, I said, this is your last chance. You want to go to your girlfriend with your normal face and not a bloody face. You think he, he gets, he goes into his coat pocket, yeah. yeah? He takes out a train ticket holder, yeah? yeah? You know, those flappy yeah, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the he shows it. He goes, if you touch me. So now he's getting scared because I'm actually talking back yeah. to him. He's, he's like showing this here. He goes, if you touch me, I, I'm, I work for Bedfordshire Police, yeah? Oh my God. I work for Bedfordshire Police. I will, um, I will arrest you. I said, you go, you're going to arrest me. I said, before you can get your hands on the handcuffs, I'll knock your face out. <laughs> I'm just, and at that point, you know, I've lost my temper. Because what's happening? Why am I getting attacked? Yeah, I also couldn't be bothered for this. My train was late. I was like, you know what? Like, why am I going through this? I'm annoyed, yeah? I said, before you could touch me, I'll break your nose. And I, I, I'll keep going for his nose. I can't think of anything creative for some reason, yeah? So I'm going to break your nose. I'm going to smash it into the pavement. Then, this is the worst part, yeah? This is the part which... Gets to me You know I mentioned that there's people uh, Other people in the station Are not helping mm. yeah Fine, I, I, Fine You know if yeah. I was in a situation I would help Like before you carry on I feel like When was this Three years ago Four years ago Yeah three years ago-ish um, I finished work late And I was far away From a uni home I see A woman And a man And she's getting uncomfortable And he is bothering her At the time I'm thinking maybe she's pissed and it's like partner or boyfriend or whatever. But I don't know. But in the moment I was because like around that time and also like in our type like society right now is very common, isn't it, at night? Because they take advantage, no one's around. Uh it's a quiet place, you know, it's just one on one. So I was letting it be, I was like, let's see how it goes in it. And then I then I picked up, yeah, like something's wrong. So I got in, I was like, Are you okay? Do you know this man? And he kind of backed off And the bus came perfect time mm. She gets in again And he's there like He starts saying He basically is like Who are you? Like mm. get off It's between me and her I was like you don't know her mm. I asked her she, And um, she was like she's okay I said do you know him? She was like no And I, I said are you okay? Bus came And even when I was going in And tapping in uh, Same thing was arguing I was literally arguing I just left <clears throat> But that's what I mean Like that small yeah. uh, thing Obviously the bus came perfect like, time Before carrying on even, like, even if it's a man I was still, it doesn't matter that she's a woman, like, whatever gender you are, I want to go and help you, if I can see that you feel uncomfortable, mm-hmm. or something's going to, like, you know, pop out, well, how can I say it, like, blow. Yeah, but even if you, like, that small action yeah. that you did, like, do you know them, you're right, get on the bus, and, you know, like, it always the bus came at perfect time, so you'd have yeah. to fight and all yeah. that stuff, <clears throat> it's that well, small, I was, I was even ready, I wasn't going to go physical first, but I was ready, if he wants to go, yeah. it's like, the police can't do anything because it's self-defense. He touched me first. I'm trying to protect this woman and she's getting harassed, basically. Mm-hmm. And if he wants to put his hands first, then obviously I'm not going to sit there and, like what you said, have a broken face, do yeah. I? No, no, no. Yeah. Um, but that's what I mean. So it comes back to that point. Yeah. They, uh, you know, there's people there, they're not helping. And I'm like, you know what? They're on their own day. They're on their own thing. Who knows if I would do the same? I don't know. <clears throat> and I'm not as confident back then, by the way. Like now... <laughs> I, you know what it's, it's, it's not the nine it's not about the 915 yeah you guys aren't allowed to know what nine nine one five is anymore but um the the what do you call it um the amount of mind fights i have <laughs> i'm always prepared do you understand yeah. i've already envisioned like 29 scenarios where i've defeated this guy do you understand <laughs> <laughs> I've already defeated this guy 29 times yeah. before it's happened, before I even know who he was. I've done all the angles. I've measured what would happen if he punches me here. So anyway, what I'm saying is, um, like, I wasn't very confident and stuff. So no one's helping me. I'm like, oh, I'm basically finished here. So the only power I have against this humongous guy is shouting at the moment. Because I don't put my hand on him yeah. first in case. Because also people don't know the law. And I, I definitely yeah. didn't, yeah? I, I still don't know the law even right now. So... Then, you know what you mentioned, those train people, they yeah. came down, two of them, the train, like, security kind of people. They came down, and it's so crazy that he was standing in where you are, li- this distance, yeah. yeah? And they came where the line of this table is, them two are literally standing that close to us, yeah? And I'm saying, excuse me, he's harassing me. Could you please move him away from me because, uh, you know, I don't want to fight him. And, you know, he's harassing me, he's, he's calling me this and that. They just stood there. And they said nothing. They didn't move an inch. They just stood there. So I'm there and I'm like, so I'm dead. Like, they're not going to help me. No one else is going to help me. This guy's thing. I thought, that's it. It's time to fight. Now, background story about me fighting. Yeah, <clears throat> I asked my mom so many times when I was younger. I said, look, I want to do self-defense. 
some sort of class boxing or something. And she said, you know what, Sadiq, you don't need none of that, okay? Because if you go to those classes, you might break your nose or you might break your leg. And I said, mom, if I go to that self, if I don't go to that self defense class and I don't know how to fight, someone else will break my nose or break my leg. And she's like, no, you don't need none of that. All you need to do, and remember, guys, you can also follow this, yeah. All you need to say is say Bismillah and you just throw a punch and you'll win instantly. You'll win, yeah. And I was like, okay, so obviously that I don't know when I was going to use that, and this was the moment, yeah, because I'm like, I'm going to have to fight him. I'm going to have to do something. So let me do this. So I say Bismillah. I actually do this, yeah. I'm like ready to throw a punch because he went for my arm and I just warned him in it. So if you touch my arm again, I'm gonna I'll punch your face. He went for my arm and I said Bismillah and I'm just about to punch him and next thing you hear, Doo! yeah, because the train there's one train going quick yeah. be, and the other train the train I'm meant to get on comes yeah, and the guy gets distracted. Even I got distracted. The 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 people who were there they got distracted. The train comes and automatically he must have sensed that this guy's gonna fight me now. And he doesn't want none of that because this guy just sees donut kebab and onion. Probably, <laughs> I know he's got the size, but he probably doesn't know how to do anything anyway. Yeah, and he's probably putting like two and two together. Like he's Muslim. What if he's got you know an yeah. explosive? Uh, that's, that's why he's really, he's just said Bismillah in front of me, right? Like what if he's got something? So he turn, he goes to him, go shave your beard. Yeah, uh, you p word. Now that p word is the one that is used for the a, a cat, right? Not the other one, not Pakistani. Yeah. yeah, he calls me the p word and he says go shave your beard. And I said. In response to the P word I said look who's talking Who's walking away Yeah Because now I'm like Yeah I'm the big guy You're walking Yeah I said who's walking away And I said Why should I shave my beard So I look like a Like a pig like you Yeah Because his face looked like Pink Round Shaven Like Literally looked like a pig Right I was like I'm not going to shave my beard So I look like a pig like you And I just thought That's my last response I, like, I could have done Without even saying that response Go on the train now this part, I get on the train and the two guys who are asked for help, yeah. they corner me and they say, yo, yo, calm down, relax, uh, don't start anything. I was like, excuse me, I asked you for help. What, what do you mean don't start anything? I'm the one chilling, he attacked me. And they're like, oh, no, uh, don't worry, he's just here, he does that to people all the time. I said, so, so, you, so you are here all the time at the train station, you're watching people get attacked and you never help them. Or not, not Leave help them. You didn't report it. You work here. Yeah, I, I'm literally I'm the one doing self defense, and they're cornering me. Oh, don't do anything. By the way, I'm, I'll clarify. When I went, when I got onto the train, I stopped. I was like not doing anything. I wasn't going to attack him anymore. I just calmed down. I was like, he's gone anyway. I don't need to fight. And they're cornering me. They go, he's like here anyway. And then I said, both of you. I said, if you both don't move away from me right now, I'm going to punch both of you instead. Yeah. And they're also like, but they backed off. I said. Don't uh, don't touch me Don't talk to me I'm not going to talk to you They went off I said If this was a woman With a push chair Or a little kid Would you have said the same thing that, Oh he's here all the time Or would you Would you not defend them I asked you for help You didn't help me Then they went over to him Were you doing that Like it was uh, fake innit mm. So the, I, I, <laughs> I went home The other stuff happened I didn't I won't say it But I went home Next day I went police And I reported it As a hate crime As you should If you're ever attacked By someone In public You're ever attacked um, you know, before your race, your religion, your the way you look, whatever, ju- um, make sure you report it to police as a hate crime because some people, especially in Asian communities, Muslim, they don't do it. They just like, oh, you know, some, oh, that guy attacked me, but they don't report it. Report it is so important. Um, and I told the police, and they were like, um, you know, what, what it described the whole thing, and they watched the CCTV footage, and they go, we can see that you're, you know, you're defending yourself and stuff. <laughs> I was like, yeah, if you only knew, <laughs> I'm gonna break your face, but um. They, they, yeah, they checked and I said, look, can, can I be honest with you? I said to the officer, I said, look, the guy, I also did say to him, I'll smash your face in the ground because he was trying to touch me. Right? I said it to the guy. I said, look, I told him I'll smash your face in the ground because he kept trying to touch me. He goes, honestly, you did less. I said, what do you mean? He goes, the moment he grabbed, tried to grab your hand, if you punched him, we would not say nothing about you because he's made the movement. So if someone tries to grab you... So whoever makes a movement <clears throat> first... First, if, they, if someone makes a movement trying to grab you, yeah. physically assault you like that, instantly... Well, even wait, if they miss you. Even if they miss yeah. you, you, you move away, smack them across the... Just deck them one. Deck them. Give them the 915 on, on the face. Just smack them in the jaw. Just like, if I just... You know, and then I keep replaying it back in my head that, oh, I should have pulled it down. Ah, right on the job, but you know you can't. You can't. It's not the best thing to do. You know what I mean? Like end of the day, uh, I was speaking to someone I know, and they they said to me that 
Like it's all well and good That you want to respond You want to fight someone back But what if one punch That you do ends up with Imagine he fell on this train track And died yeah. I'm a murderer You get it if, if I do that So he's like they, they were saying to me That you shouldn't react like that But obviously in the interest Of self-defense yeah. You should But don't go around Beating people up And punching people For stupid yeah. for stupid things You know um, it, It's actually like it's, it's, it's bigger than that Because As much as I hate To admit it Yeah that action from that guy influences how I see that demographic of people, mm. that white character, you know, that old character. You know, you, you when yeah. you look at old white people, you probably feel the same after what you experience. Now, this is the problem, yeah. I don't believe that I'm doing anything good by that. You know, if I if I look at every white person or every old like you know that kind of demographic guy, if I look at them all in this with the same brush, am I any better than the guy? The guy who's calling me the p word, the guy who's calling me terrorist, and all these words, I'm no better than him. Then yes, it happened to me. Yes, I felt it. Yes, on the news or yes on YouTube and yes on these things, I see how they look at me or you know Asians and stuff. I get it. That that's that's fair enough for me to. Stereotype them Just for my own safety That's fair But I don't want to be like that Because am I going to really Leave my house Every time I leave my house I'm going to have to be on the lookout Any white guys Trying to start Pushing me on the train track Because you know You know what I mean I don't want to look but like that But the thing is We don't do that Even though me and you Had our personal experiences When we do look at Other white people Whether it's Older younger people We don't have that stereotype We weren't open mind They're nice guys And then obviously If the dodgy things Are happening one or Then you can be like Alright I need to be careful Do you know yeah. But that's not racism That's nothing That's just You being um, What's it Aware of your surroundings That's true yeah. I, I think it's important To be aware of your surroundings I think stereotypes Or prejudice Exists to help us Keep safe yeah. in, in, in that way But at the same time Don't let it Cloud yeah. your judgment that everyone's yeah. Like imagine that. I see you in the street. Yeah, I'm a white person, and you're such a nice guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just giving you a scenario, like an example. You're such a nice guy, but then I have this like four against you. Oh, like I'm scared. Oh, uh, I think he's this religion. Oh, he's gonna do this to me. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah, it's true. But you don't even know them, so how can you have that four of them? They are like that. Yeah. Um. There's also I think people need to start reading more start uh, reading more as well yeah like mm. p- people don't know enough like fair enough Asian culture and stuff you might not understand it because Asian culture it's really funny to say Asian culture yeah. but Asia is a continent there's yeah. so many Asian yeah. cultures there's Thai there's uh, Chinese Japanese Korean and there's our uh, South, Bangladesh South, South, South side as well uh, d- South, South, East, South Asia North, Pakistan yeah. Sri Lanka India like there's so many countries and everyone has their own uh, culture mm. And even in that country of Bangladesh There's one from Dhaka Which is the capital of Bangladesh They have their own culture Sile has their own culture Then in Sile Each town has their own culture You know So it's not black and white It really isn't that simple And the same goes for religion If you want to understand a religion You don't look at the people all the time Because media is going to show things That make them money That's violence That's murder That's bad things Drugs and stuff They don't like positive Because positive people like Oh, another positive thing. Well, my life's not that positive. Let me just change the channel. People are addicted to negative things. This is just how we are. We're programmed like that. This is how we are. We're programmed to look at negative things. We're programmed to like looking at negative things. And we get a rise out of it. We we release chemicals in our brain because like, oh, that's exciting. But that's why don't rely on media. Go, you got a brain. You have education. Go research it yourself. In our time right now, back in the olden days, you can't blame them. They can only... Believe what they see on the TV Because that's all they had They don't have no phone No social media No nothing They can only believe What is shown to them And the, and the only access was like TV Right Even a phone I don't know back then It's, it's not like a small phone We have now It's some I don't know Like you do something Or outside But now we've got so much technology AI Everything You've got your smartphone Tablet Laptop Everything And you can You don't don't need to see the TV If you see that Alright This is how they picture the situation Go and do research It might be true It might be not Or maybe it's true But the way they worded it is wrong You, you You can do your own research We've got the Resources and facilities out there But we're not using it That's it It's true we we do we have uh, and this is the time <clears throat> this is the time of technology we've got the most advanced level of 
you know, searching things up, researching things. But if you're not going to use it and you're just going to go with what you're told, then you're just, you're just uh, ignorant. It's, it's, it is ignorance and it's also a sheepish kind of behavior. Like, are you that happy to be part of the crowd? So that's one thing. If, whether you're Asian as well, I'm not leaving you out. Uh, like I said, it's not good enough to just paint everyone with the same brush. You just obviously be on guard and stuff. That's fine. But at the same time, you need to educate yourself and become tolerant. I think the biggest lesson here is tolerance. Both sides, I have to also be tolerant to an extent. Not everyone's the same as me. Not everyone understands things the same as me, follows the same culture as me and, and whatnot. And um, <clears throat> not every experience means that everyone is like that person, you know. Um, uh, but at the same time, I feel like those people who stereotype, no matter what colour or race you are, you guys do need to research, you guys do need to learn because that's the biggest way to become tolerant you know don't just believe what you're told oh yeah and one one last thing i, I think this goes without saying but we get a lot of uh, hate on online uh from i'm not gonna say racist people because i don't think it's racist i think there's asian people who've actually done hate but maybe they're hindu or something who knows but um our TikTok, oh my god, if you guys just go check the TikTok comments. It's on YouTube shows, but no, oh, TikTok is TikTok's, worse, TikTok's no. blown up, thankfully. But um, if, I, if I can, I'll, I'll put some editing, Sadiq. Put some on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, if you just look at these comments, oh my gosh. like There's just some people that just come out of nowhere. And it's easy for them because, you know, they're scared. There's a guy, by the way, oh, sorry, I just want to mention this. Yeah, I'm going to put this because I really want to say this. The guy, he pretended to be an ex-Muslim. Yeah, just to win a, in a debate with me. Yeah, the guy goes, um, oh, but I said to him, you should read the Quran to educate yourself because it feels. I feel like you're just believing what you're told. You don't know enough. Go research and then ask me questions. The guy goes, for your information, I've memorized two juz of the Quran. Juz means like there's thirty parts of the Quran, thirty juz, and he's memorized two of them. That's at least fifty pages. Yeah. I genuinely took the guy at his word. I said, oh, that's, that's actually quite interesting. So you're ex-Muslim, but you memorize two Jews. Okay, which two Jews? He stopped replying. And then he goes on to other posts and he's commenting hate on the other well, posts. No, but he, but he keeps replying on the same comment under the religious post on TikTok. But he's just airing that question. He's, he's airing that question. And then on top of that, he goes to other posts of us commenting on them. And I replied to him. I said, what happened? Which two Jews do you remember? Why did you run away? <laughs> So don't don't be like um you know don't be like that guy what what a bloody coward in it um but one thing that you guys keyboard definitely should do, warrior <laughs> indeed he was a keyboard warrior but um you know what can, can I be honest though yeah. I do appreciate the guy I do should I tell you why why <sighs> look I appreciate all <laughs> let, me, let me try that again I appreciate all people who comment on Lads Talk TikTok. And who also comment on the Lads Talk podcast. Because do you know why? It helps us in the algorithm. And do you know what else helps us on the algorithm? Liking the video, sharing the video, and of course subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, then maybe you're just a racist. Maybe you're uneducated. Maybe you're ignorant. Subscribe. Subscribe. We know you don't want to be seen like that. So you need to subscribe right now. Okay. Um, while you're there, by the way, subscribing. Uh, if you just look in the description of today's video, there's a couple of important links, including our sponsors, Web Dev Lab and Hira in Luton. Uh, on top of that, there is a form. You should click on the form and find out what that form is about. Um, it's really important. You should definitely check it out. And uh, but yeah, that's that's our experiences with racism. I just hope that the world can become a, a better place, which probably it won't in the next couple of years with what's going on um but genuinely i think it's important to understand how you should react and also what you can do to get rid of your own it's not like everyone we're perfect or something like that you get rid of your own prejudices and stereotypes against people and you know come on we're, we're living in a community there, there used to be a time where when you go out uh, you had your neighbors that you could rely on you can give your neighbors the key to your house you can you know trust them to that extent and yeah, even even like back then playing with the kids and stuff playing in the car you get it, playing outside now yeah it's just Everyone's it's shut off it was, it's ever since the uh, lockdown in it it's just shut off yeah uh, lockdown didn't help yeah. this media stuff's not helping you like there's no such thing as neighborliness like i have really good neighbors i have to say i have good neighbors and we've got good relationship i get to like you know when they have their um their baby their son and stuff like that if i say funny things to him or a play with them like they it's okay it's like chill but everyone's otherwise normally everyone's like sticks to them so like oh you know are they lizards or are they some sort of otherworldly creature that i can't get along with them we need to like break down these barriers and um yeah it's important that we do it asap because yeah life life only gets better when you surround yourself in a positive way uh, with positive things 
and one of those positive things of course is subscribing so subscribe very positive um but yeah until 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 next time next time we'll see you later and this has been lads talk with me and sadiq peace out <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>